how are you? Long time no see. You've definitely left it too long this time. <laughs> how are you anyway? Good, yes, I'm fine, thank you. Keeping busy. <laughs> so, are you here for your regular cut that we do all the time? You wanted something new? Okay, well, that's very good. It's a good idea to keep things fresh and different. Did you want to have a look at my style book? Sure, okay. Have you got any ideas in mind? Okay. Well, if you see one that matches what you have in your mind, then let me know. But I will comment and on a technical standpoint, which ones I think would suit you. Okay. I mean, there's some very strange hairstyles in this book, I will just say that. So we'll just ignore those ones. Any on this page that take your fancy? No, I do have this little bookmark here just in case. No. How about this one? No? Okay. This one? Yes, it is quite a distinguished kind of look. I would say um, it would definitely suit your style of hair that you have already. I mean, it's not that dissimilar to what you normally have. I like this little flick here as well. <laughs> and I like it that it's long on the top, yet kind of short on the side. But not so obvious. So shall I bookmark that one? Okay. Any on this page? No. Any on this page? Kind of is similar, but it's more neater. I like it. Um, you know that nice gel look. It looks very vintage, but again, um, it might be too fussy, I guess, for you. Um, you'd have to make sure that you did it every single day, <laughs> which is not that bad if you've got the time to do it. What do you think of this one? <laughs> Definitely not what we're going for, I think, but again, it's very distinguished, very different, and I like the fact it's very gravity-defying as well. It reminds me of that cartoon, Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> if you've ever seen that. Any on this page? This one looks like someone's had an accident, and put the clippers through the hair. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about the incredibly short sides and the really, really long top. I mean, it's incredibly on trend at the moment and very in style, but again, like the other one, it's a very high maintenance look, so you'd have to come in every three weeks, maybe even two weeks, to really maintain that style and sort of have the sides shaved down and the top groomed and trimmed. And of course you couldn't go out the house without it being done, <laughs> otherwise you'd look a little bit strange. And we have a couple of different styles on this side. Again, this one's kind of the same. But what do you feel about this one? How do you feel about that? Yes, I mean, again, it, I think it would suit your style hair because you have a lot of volume on the top, which is really good. And we could really experiment with these shorter sides, but it's not as extreme as this one. And of course you have a couple of greys coming through, which is nothing to be ashamed of. I personally really love a man with grey hair. I think it makes him look very distinguished, very sexy, you know, that sexy salt and pepper. So 
we could really work with your hair and your hair colour and really make this your own. So let me put my hair on. Let's have a look at some more. I think these get a little bit strange towards the end, but this one looks quite nice. Um, you know, it's on a more sort of older gentleman, which I think really suits him. You have some different shapes here, which I think is a little bit too young for you. Hmm. And this is the most striking picture in this magazine. I really like it, but of course, it's not a style for everyone. But I really like these little flashes of colour that match the gentleman's tie. And obviously at the moment, beards are very, like, in style. But some men can't grow beards this long and this bushy. It's all down to your genetics, how you're predisposed, um, to what growth you can have on your face and your beard. So this doesn't work for everybody. And this is so interesting, this one here. I really love the clean cut edge here and the flattest top <laughs> that you can imagine. It really satisfies my OCD, but I don't think that would suit you. <laughs> and this looks a little bit like Carl Drogo from Game of Thrones. <laughs> this crazy high man bun. Um, this one's quite interesting. I like the clean edges here, the nice shape, which we can get for you um, with the trimmers. No? Okay, that's fine. What do you think about this one? <laughs> yes, it kind of does look like green candy floss, doesn't it? <laughs> you won't be going for that one. And what about this? Do you think that looks like a toothbrush? <laughs> yes, it's very, very artistic, I would say. And these are more kind of rugged hairstyles. This one, and this one, and this one are all kind of that beach wave, kind of surfer-esque kind of hairstyles, which I think, um, obviously you'd need to grow your hair a lot longer but they're quite nice, I think, if you have that sort of hair, um, that sort of long hair. This one, I think, um, is nice too, but more for a younger person, I would say, as you have that sort of textured, straight-up kind of look. And that's it. So, what do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Let's get to that page. So you think this one? I think so too. I mean, your hair has that natural volume at the top, but obviously not too much so it's not unmanageable. And again, we can really get these um, sides down with the trimmers, um, but not too short. If you don't like it, then you cannot put it back. So we'll just do a little bit longer than here, just in case you, it, you feel like it doesn't suit you. And like I say, your grey hair is just perfectly suited towards this. I mean, you're not as grey as the gentleman in this picture, but, you know, over time, um, grey hair happens to us all, I should say. And then if you decide to grow a beard, then it'll look really nice as well with this look. Or I think um, it would look really nice with a nice wet shave as well, which we do at the salon. So shall we aim for that? Great. I think it's a good choice for sure. I think it would really, really suit you and, you know, suit your facial features and there's a lot of room for scope as well. Okay? So we're not going to wash your hair today, are we? We're just going to do a little spritz. Okay, that's fine. I mean, did you want to maybe book in for a wet cut next time? Okay, well, we are offering free scalp and neck 
um, massages with our wet cups, with every wet cut. So just something to think about. So I have some conditioning water here. I'm just going to spritz on your head, so I'm just going to cover your face here. <laughs> it's a little bit cold, I do apologise. Okay, excellent. So now I'm just going to be just trimming off some of the excess hair at the top and the sides. And then what I'll do is I'll just get the trimmers and just trim around the sides of your hair, the back of your neck and down the sides of your neck too. Okay, so I have my scissors here, so let's go. you been seeing anybody recently? No? That's a shame. Nobody take your fancy. Yes, I know. It's very hard dating. <laughs> Any woman in their right mind would snap you up. It's a shame I'm worried. take too much off the top but you still want to get a lot of wear time in it so you don't have to keep coming back so what do you think about me doing a little bit shorter at the top than in the picture and then it can grow out and then you have kind of two hairstyles in one as it starts to grow out what do you think okay a little bit shorter all right Just work around the sides if that's okay. Excellent. Let's just even it out 
on this side. as well. Let's just shift away there. Okay, that's looking really good. Good. Okay. Excellent. Maybe just a little bit on the fringe. drying out a bit. I'm just going to spritz it once more. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's just wipe those hairs out of your face. Now I'm just going to be using um, the trimmers and just do you maybe just a number one or possibly number two around the sides. It depends how short you want to go. I have shortened the top, as you know, so you have a little bit more growth time in the hairstyle. So shall we go quite short around the sides? That will just help it match up with the top a little bit better. What do you think? Good, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to be using the trimmers here and just to really shave those sides and down um, your neck and clean up the back of your neck as well, okay? Do it. Hmm. How does that feel? Hmm? So I'm just going to just wipe up some debris from your face and ears. So now I'm just going to finish your hairstyle with some styling clay and this one is Fudge Hair Shaper and why I really like this is that it smells exactly like fudge. <laughs> it's really lovely. So we're going to just be spiking up the top and like shaping it a little bit and maybe putting some in the sides as well. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this. As you can see it's very thick, the 
bloopy. This is where my concentration phase <laughs> comes into play because I just do this whenever I'm concentrating. It's such a bad habit of mine. I look so grumpy <laughs> and serious all the time. <laughs> my colleagues have said, why are you so serious all the time? <laughs> but it's how I concentrate. <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> just going to be spiking up the sides here on top and then round the sides as well such a perfectionist so this may take some time. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Okay, let's just get a little bit more product in my fingers. Okay, good. I think it's looking really good. You're gonna look so handsome. Not that you don't already but even more handsome. Do you know what I think? I think you should get your friends together or maybe, you know, it doesn't have to be best friends, just anybody I guess. And I think after your lovely haircut and style, I think you should go out on the, on the town, so to say, have a few drinks. Yeah, I think so. See if there's any girls up there, you know. See who compliments you on your style, your new haircut. Because I think you look so handsome. Yeah, just working these little fringy bits. You have a couple of little baby hairs that need to just be smoothed. So happy we went for this style. It looks so good. Yeah, a night out on the town does sound good, doesn't it? I'll be working, unfortunately. I'm on, I'm on late today, so I'm stuck in the salon. <laughs> but maybe next time I get to meet you out or something. Okay, I think we're done. I mean, I'm never going to be happy with it because I'm such a perfectionist. Okay, right. So if you can go and have a look in the mirror and see what you think. Yes? Do you like it? Good, yes. I can take that off for you. That's fine, no problem. You don't want to be walking outside with a green towel around you, do you? Wouldn't be very attractive. See what's fair. It's okay, one of the girls will sweep it up, it's fine. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> okay. So, how does that feel? Good. Do you want a little bit of hairspray just to set that in place if you were thinking about going out tonight? I'll just do one or two, you don't want it to be crispy, so to say, so I just have, I just spray a little bit of this hairspray. Yes, that would literally 
do. And that's quite long lasting and quite um, very well holding. So that's going to last you all evening. So what do you think? Do you like it? Good. I'm so pleased. I think it really, really suits you. I think you should have it all the time. <laughs> Well, it's been so lovely seeing you again. It really has been too long. But I think this hairstyle, you won't need a sort of trim for at least maybe three to four weeks. As you'll notice, the sides will start to grow and it will look a little bit untidy. So did you want to book in for maybe three weeks time? That's great. I'll book you in in our diary. Same sort of time. It's really important to sort of keep on top of your hairstyle. I know, you know, we have busy lives and things get on top of us and the last thing we think about is our hair. I mean, I definitely need my roots done, let's just say that. So, we can just forget about these things, but even though it's just our appearance and, you know, looks are only superficial, it makes you feel really confident and really lovely to have your hair done, so I think having a top up, so to say, every three weeks, maybe four, would be perfect. Mm -hmm. It's a real confidence boost. <laughs> Good. Well, again, it's been so lovely to see you. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>